Page 536, Chapter 18, Sexual Coercion. Um, so we were we left off reading about um, a closer look, the Penn State scandal, anatomy of sexual abuse and cover-up. So in early 2009, the Pennsylvania Attorney General begins an investigation. Victim 1 reports that Sandusky inappropriately touched him repeatedly. Winter 2011, a grand jury summons university officials at Paterno to testify. The university's board of trustees is not informed. May 11, 2011. The Board of Trustees learns of the investigation on May 11th but takes no action. November 5th, 2011. Sandusky is arrested on charges of childhood sexual abuse with eight boys. He is released on bail. Curley and Schultz are charged with failure to report the crimes and perjury. November 7, 2011. Curley and Schultz step down. November 9, 2011. Paterno announces his intent. Oh my. <clears throat> November 9, 2011. If you guys ever have kids, please allow them to be quiet kids because the world doesn't need more noise. Like, what is that? Oh my god. Like, this is why I'm racist against my own kind because, like, I just feel. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there because I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, November 7, 2011. Carilia and Schultz step down. November 9, 2011, Paterno announces his intended retirement, but the Board of Trustees fires him and the university president. November 4, 14, 2011, in an interview with Bob Costa, Sandusky claims he's innocent and not a pedophile. He admits, I shouldn't have showered with those kids. January 22, 2012, Paterno dies from lung cancer at the age of 85. June 22, 2012, Jerry Sandusky is convicted of the sexual abuse of 10 boys. July 12, 2012. Louis J. Frage, former director of the FBI, releases a report on the scandal. He accuses Paterno, the university's former president, and other universities' former president and other university officials of hiding the facts about Sandusky's sexual abuse of children. Sorry, I'm screaming. I'm just so fucking frustrated that, like, they're so loud. It's like, Jesus, Mom, why don't you talk quieter? <sighs> At about the same time, it was charged that the Air Force Academy had traditions that encouraged or legitimized the sexual assault of female cadets. A number of women cadets left the academy, officers resigned, and policies were changed. Then there were the cases of Mary Kay Letourneau, Pamela Rogers, and Deborah Lefebvre, attractive women who were prosecuted for having sex with minor boys. While some men wondered whether these boys just got lucky, they... <laughs> David Finkelhor, 2005, director of the Crimes Against Children Research Center at the University of New Hampshire, notes that the bringing of these cases to court reflects a decline in the double standard that is applied to men and women. Finkelhor suggests that increasing numbers of female police and prosecutors are less likely to buy into the traditional idea that boys have, have sex with older women have... Oh my god, fuck! Sorry, that's how fucking frustrated I am because... Like, <sighs> that's how passionate I am, but that's how fucking frustrated I am, too. And my mom's laughing because she's fucking evil. Of New Hampshire notes that the bringing of these cases to court reflects a decline in the double standard that is applied to men and women. Finger Holler suggests increasing numbers of female po police and prosecutors are less likely to buy into the traditional idea that boys who have sex with older women have something to be thankful for. All in all, a team of professional writers could not have developed more scandalous material. But the plots and the characters in these media series are very real. Many observers wince as they, as they see aspects of themselves, either as aggressors or victims, laid, before, laid bare before the public. This chapter is about sexual coercion. Our topics include rape and other forms of sexual pressure, including sexual harassment. As we see in the cases involving minors, sexual coercion also includes any sexual activity between an adult and a child. Even when children cooperate, sexual relations with children are coercive because children are below the legal age of consent. Rape, the most intimate crime of violence. During the school year, you talk to people, it has happened too. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go read in the kitchen so that my mom can hear me. So, rape, the most intimate crime of violence. 
Ok, hola a todos. Hola. Hola. Entonces, vamos a tener un poquito de quiet time porque voy a leer. Okay? Es tiempo de leer, ok. Van a aprender a escuchar, ok. So, no. no digan nada, traten de. Ya sé que. Coca. Ok. ¿Qué? 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 No. ¿Qué? 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 Rape, the most intimate crime of violence. During the school year, you talk to people. No, it has, no. During the... Uh, shh, uh, uh, everybody uh, clap uh, your hands. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 during the school year, you talk to people. It has happened too. Even upperclassmen, and they all say the same thing. They tell you to expect getting raped, and it, if it doesn't happen to you, you're one of the rare ones. They say if you want a chance to stay at the Air Force Academy. If you want to graduate, you don't tell. You just deal with it. The women at the Air Force Academy, like an estimated 1.3 million U.S. women each year, were victimized by a most common crime of violence, rape. Rape has its sexual aspects, but it is also the subjugation of women by men by force or threat of force. For the first few thousand years of history, the only rapes that were punished were those that defiled virgins. These rapes were considered crimes against property, virgins being the property of their fathers, not crimes against persons. In ancient Babylonia... Está, está caliente. Sí, está calientito. Cómetela con tortillas, digo, con frijoles. No, Adrián, no, eso, eso no es respetuoso, Adrián. Es que quiero que te calientes. Tienes que sentarte y comerte, Adrián. These rapes were not. These rapes were considered crimes against property virgins, being the property of their fathers, not crimes against persons. In ancient Babylonia, rape laws applied to married women as well. Babylonian law required the assailant and his victim to be bound and thrown into a river. As the injured party, after all, his property had been damaged, the husband could choose to let his wife drown or save her. Blaming the victim of rape is thus an age. Cristina, Cristina, nadie le importa la manera en que tú te sientes ahorita. Y nadie nunca en el futuro le va a importar lo que tú sientes. Entonces tú tienes que ser responsable de tú misma, Cristina. Tú tienes que ser responsable de tus propias emociones, de tus propias... No, yo te estoy, yo te estoy haciendo independiente y yo te estoy haciendo responsable de tus propias acciones y tus propias emociones. Mamá, ya me está molestando. No te estoy molestando, te estoy enseñando. Sí, te estoy enseñando. Sí, te estoy haciendo una persona mejor, Cristina. Te prometo. <laughs> As the injured party, after all his property had been damaged, the husband could choose to let his wife drown or save her. Blaming the victim of rape is thus an age-old tradition. The ancient Hebrews stoned to death a married woman who was raped, along with her assailant. In the ancient Babylonian and Hebrew cultures, the wife was seen as guilty of adultery. Virgins who were raped within the protection of the city gates would also be stoned by the Hebrews. It was thought that they could have maintained their purity by crying out. The current definition of rape varies from state to state. Forcible rape is usually defined as sex with a non-consenting person by the use of force or the threat of force. Statutory rape refers to sex with a person who is below the age of consent. Even if the person cooperates, Traditionally, a man could not be convicted for raping his wife. Even though he might have forced her to submit to sexual activity by physical power or threats, this marital exclusion was derived from the English common law that held that a woman gives herself out, gives herself over to her husband when she becomes his wife and cannot retract her consent. Today, however, most states permit the prosecution of husbands who rape their wives. Critical thinking. Why is rape a political issue as well as a crime, Cristina? Why is rape a political issue as well as a crime? <laughs> rape, sexual activity that takes place without consent. See forcible rape and statutory rape. Forcible rape, sexual activity obtained by the use of force or the threat of force. Statutory rape. Sexual activity with a person below the age of consent even when the victim cooperates. Cristina, no siempre la gente te va a poner atención, ¿ok? 